All right, yes, sir. Oh. We back. It's the vote live. We live. You live. Yes. We live. Okay. Yes. Yes. We're right. <laughs> We're so excited to have you with us. We back the vote live Friday night, 7 p.m. Yep. You know what it is, right? Yep. Whether you're joining on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Exactly, that Everything. one. You are here, <laughs> and that's what's important. So it's 7 p.m. We live, but what's going on today? Guys, it's a vote live. We want to encourage you. There where you are at home, make sure that you are engaging. This Engage. is going to be the best service yet. We have so many great things lined up. I'm super excited. All right, so make sure you're not sitting yeah. down, eating yeah. your popcorn in your yeah. bed. Stand up, engage. We're going to have a great time. Okay, and we're now gonna we're going to greet some of you who are joining us. A great time. Who's on Facebook? <laughs> who's Shout on to Facebook? Hey, yes, sir. Let's see. Who's here? Balissa. Welcome, Balissa. We have Liabona, Tago, yeah. Yeah. Zikona, okay. Lydia. Hi, Lydia. Lydia. We Ooh. have uh, Ope Ogurutunemiri. <laughs> we know who it is. It's Sarah. Okay. What's up, Sarah? We have Pukau, Atlehang, Barbara, Mandy, Shudu, Hope, Woo. Emily, Yo. Caitlin from Yo. Cape Town, Butu, uh, Lerato, Yay. Kaylee, Daniel, uh, Katza from Alberton. We have Garabo, Letabo, Chrissy, Letabo again, Gift, Yo. Kaylong, Yo. and Tehofato, Nuto, Abigail. They're still coming. They're Yo. still coming in. Yo. Keep on going. Welcome. Welcome, keep everyone. Going. They're still coming. And I then who do we on have going. on YouTube? YouTube, we have... No Lutando from Bonk Horse Spray. in the building. Sup, and Noli. she's dabbing on us. Praise God. We have Lalos. We have Mulalo from Montana. We have Priscilla joining hey. us. We see you. We have Lechlojo. Lechlojo. Nolo. Okay, oh, no, no. Listen, can I not get dribbled? <laughs> okay, they're going to make a meme of me getting dribbled. Okay, anyways, we move on. We have Hare. We have Lerato. We have Basani. Yo, yo. We have Ashley. We have Ernest. We have Bruce Jr. S.A. Menistico says Pagati inside Pagati rainbow. Inside. Don't know what that means. <laughs> Mpilo. Listen, we'll pray for you after the service. Man. <laughs> Shout out to you. We have Kamo. We have Lesejo, What's Toriso, up? Lincoln. We have Tejo Fatso, Tiamo, Antoanano, Miso. Yo. We have Equinox. Support the boy Yo. Mark. I'm Justin from Polokwani. Oh, ho. Up, Justin? We have Centurion, Barbara. We have Chan. We have Fulu Fello. We have Shonis. Hey, we have Caitlin Ditiro and Tokozo. <laughs> That's hey, KT. Hey, we have TP the Poison hyphen official. What a name. We have Nkateko. We have Amo. We have Beast Boy Matthew. We have Peggy Mooks. It just goes Hello. on. Let me try. Get some more. We have Ntabi Singh. We have Titelo. We have Rachel, Lelo, Pons, Baupi, oh. Lebo, Tabo, Menzi. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. It's a lot. Yo, when last did we exercise? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Quarantine, quarantine, <laughs> quarantine, quarantine. Yes, quarantine you know it's live. lit, right? Tell yes. us about social media. What's popping yes, on social guys, media? Yes, guys, social media, okay? This is where it's at. This is where yeah. you are able to even stream the service yeah. itself. So make sure that you're engaging on the social media. Follow us on Instagram. Uh, follow us, subscribe follow on, us. YouTube, on, subscribe Facebook. on YouTube, you are there Facebook. on Twitter. You are everywhere, yeah. okay? So make yeah. sure that you are a part of it. This week, we had an amazing challenge called the Post Lockdown, Post -lockdown Challenge. challenge. It was quite a challenge, okay? Yeah. Some of you guys showed us what you'd like to see after the post-lockdown. And now we're going to check out a couple of clips and some of those who participated in the challenge. Check, check it out. out. Check it out. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. It is what it is. You guys remember that guy, the, the poet? Hamilton. He's Hamilton, yes, sir. Hamilton, right? The poet. But yeah. that's what we got. We have a new challenge coming oh, this week. Whoa, hey, whoa, whoa. whoa. whoa, whoa. It's a secret. It's a surprise. Hey. It's a surprise. You're going to find hey. out later on. After in the, the highlights clip, okay. we're going to go into it in five, four, four three, three, two, one. 
Ouais. Yes, sir! Yes! Ok, okay. yes. alright. Again? Seriously? Praise God. We love you. Guys too much, must blow. Welcome. Yep. But talking about TikTok. What's been happening? Exactly. Some of our best TikTok. <laughs> Let's get trending, get it out there. I'm here today with Robin. Hey, Robin. Hi, everyone. Awesome, awesome. What do you want to say there? I see you grabbing the mic. Um, no, we're really excited so far. Thank to you. To the Matla City Foundation, and we support us. Yes. And, um, you know, partner with us in this. And, yes. yeah, we can read day at a time. We can change the um, world, revolt. What you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about? <laughs> and make a difference. The, the future really does be with hope because making sure that we have our masks on, we are con on. constantly sanitizing our hands Sanitizer. as well, um, and keeping our social distance. Social distancing. As well. yes. That's the most important thing. The blood of thing. Jesus, most important. Put your mask back on. That's an order. I was a male. Enveloped by guilt because I was stamped a sinner. I say it again. Say it again. I said I was a male. Enveloped by guilt because I was stamped a sinner. Good evening, Revolt Nation. Say when I to look holy, you know, to look at our Bibles and hope osmosis happens. This is not the season for that. It's not <laughs> Okay, and there we go. Can you feel it? All right, it's been awesome, Tristan. Just give us a close there. Okay. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. That was great. <laughs> I'm that hype man. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hashtag The Vault Live. We're about to have a chat. It's our third week. Welcome back to The Vault Live. Today, I've got... Pastor Arch and Busi on the couch, A and B on the C. Let's welcome them. How are you doing, Pastor Arch and Busi? Great. great to be here. Good. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to have a good chat, right, Pastor Arch? Oh, yeah. This is the one. Tell me about it. Relationships. Relationships. Dating. People want to know. So, yeah, let's, let's, there's been a couple of questions, obviously, that they've asked us. But there's been those questions that no one has answered. And some people have felt that you at home have said to us, I'm not really satisfied with that answer. So we're going to get straight into it. We don't have a long time. So I guess maybe you guys can chat about it afterwards. Maybe we can set up some sort of um, um, questionnaire thing you can have so we can reply to you guys on our the 3C, the vault. So we can take it from there. So there's been a couple of questions. Like, for instance, which one do you remember, Sfi, by the way? Just... One of the ones that you recall that actually oh, stood out for you because we had a lot of these questions that actually came through. And I was even asked, I think I'm going to start with the first one and we're going to turn up the heat a little bit. Can we turn up the heat a little bit? We're going to do that. Let's All right, go. awesome. Right, so somebody just asked us because we, we, people we didn't know, but we took these questions. So someone is asking something like this, like how do I know if I'm over someone? Oh, is there a feeling I'm supposed to get or do I move on? Okay, so... This was coming from a girl, by the way. So I just want to maybe ask Pastor Busey. Maybe she'll be able to tell us what's going on there. Okay. Um, I'm kind of not over somebody. I'm not kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm getting those so tie hints type of things. Yeah. That's the answer. 
Move on. Okay. So what one of the questions? Yeah. moving on you haven't made a commitment to marry someone you know you haven't if you haven't heard from the lord i say there's nothing wrong with moving on keep it simple move on love jesus serve him amen amen okay let's keep moving on yeah amen second question i'm just opening my my questions out here pastor arch um sent them to me earlier i have a girlfriend who is devoted and serving you no, this is a question for <laughs> Oh, you don't have a girlfriend? Uh, okay, okay, cool. Because we thought Sfiso has got a girlfriend. Okay. 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 I have a girlfriend who is devoted and serving God at another church. How do I manage to bring her to the vault? My brother, it's not transfer window. We don't uh, transfer <laughs> in and out of churches. What we do is we enjoy, enjoy the relationship. Uh, take it forward. Bring it to your leaders and let them guide you. And most of all, we speak to our pastors. We stay submitted, right? Yeah. And... Uh, you know what, if they advise and help you through getting her here or getting her there or moving there, 100%. It's, it's not about transfers, all right? It's not about fighting which church you belong to. It's all about Jesus. It's all about loving him and loving your partner. So make sure you, you obviously, as a guy, do we lead the way, right? I would think so, but you said it very well, Sfiso, by saying um, bring it to your leaders and your pastors. You really need a covering. You need people who are covering you. You need people who are going to pray with you, who are going to help you make the right decisions. At the end of the day, the decisions are made by you, not by people around you. So you've got to hear from God, and you've got to know what the plan and the direction that God is taking you, where that direction is, so you can make the right decisions. Amen. That's very true. And I would testify to say that everything that, every decision that I need to make, I bring it to my pastors. Mm. I don't do anything without my pastors, especially big decisions like the person you're going to marry or the person you want to marry. Bring that friendship, bring that uh, love, bring that relationship before your pastors and they'll help you, they'll guide you and they'll help you make the best decisions ever. Shout out to my pastors. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> Next question, Pastor B. All right, I think what we have here is um sorry i remember pastor busi said we should have some standards pastor busi what type of standards and this was a question from one of the girls so <laughs> we should have some standards is that all it says what type of well standards? thank god that the standard is the blood of jesus the standard is the word of god amen what does the word say amen. the word says you must um you know take care to ensure that your first priority, your relationship with God is priority, and don't compromise that. Don't ever compromise your relationship with God for a relationship with a person who may or may not marry you. That's not even an option. The standard is that you will not compromise being with somebody who does not serve the Lord the way you know to serve the Lord. I think that's one I thing like that. we learned early on when we were, what were we? I, back in the day, there was no special friends, but um, so we learned. This is the thing: you want to serve the Lord, you want to be with somebody who serves the Lord at your standard, and it's very important. So when we're talking about standards, that's mm -hmm. what we're referring to. It is not about how holy, how perfect, mm -hmm. but is do we have the same the passion camera. for serving God the, the camera <laughs> together? The Are we going to change Ooh. the world together here, or what? Okay, all right, because everyone is awesome. Really, you guys are. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna get a bit a bit hood about it. Okay, is it okay? I'm go gonna there, do go that there. because sometimes we can. Okay, so here's the deal. So some people will say to you, "But this is girl. I really love her. I really like her. I really want to be with her." And as in the church, is that do we are we are we really speaking and addressing and saying to them, "Okay, you need to really trust." Because it's so easy to be with the hottest girl on the block, but you don't know if her prayer life is on lock. You know what I'm saying? And all these Pop things, because, because and, and I didn't mean, to, oh yeah, I didn't mean to, to like rhyme. But my thing was this, is that a lot of times, we, are we really speaking to what the young people are really going through? Because there's so many influences. They leave church they're on social media. They leave church, they're with other friends that are not saved. They're in church, they're around family that's not saved, and they're telling them, follow your heart. So what do we say to young people like that? What do we say? To, because, because 
when I think about it now, because I don't have a lot of time, but I want to just close this like this. It's just, I think it's very important to teach young people to say, you really need to trust God. Young people don't really trust God. Because when God, where God guides, God provides. So if you need somebody that you want to be with, you will find them in the presence of God. See, Adam was not looking for Eve. God brought Eve to him because he was doing what he was supposed to do. Yes, yes. So I really think that's one of the things we have to say because we are constantly talking about relationships over and over. But how about if I want to be in a relationship? Your focus is wrong. Mm -hmm. And if the devil which means the enemy sees that our focus is wrong, then you will keep you thinking about that and your focus is that and then you're going to dance. Yes. He's yes. going to make you dance because you're Amen. wondering, does he like me? He likes me not. So I think it's important we need to say that. Yes. Amen. What so, are one of the things you wanted to say? Focus on Jesus. Focus yeah. on God. Yes. Focus on cultivating your relationship with God. Yes. And at the right time, at the right place, God will bless you with the best partner in the world. Yes. Just like we have you two sitting here. Yes. How did y'all meet? Just give us a testimony. Y'all were focusing on Jesus. Quick, we got 60 seconds. So I met Boosie in church. And I remember Pastor Bird, I said to him, Pastor Bird, I like this girl because I'd known her for about three years. Pastor Bird said, okay, give it a little bit of some time. I really trusted him. That kind of Pastor Bird, I Trust like that pastor. kind of Pastor Bird of then because he would just tell you, wait a little bit. And she didn't even like me. She no. didn't pay attention to me. Is that true, Pastor B? No, she didn't have time, man. Sure, after five children, you don't remember that much. <laughs> it's like been 12 that. years, and I <laughs> met her in 2000. Guy. Yeah. Wow. So, but then when I focus on God, and that's the thing, when you're busy with God's things, you happen to just find one another in that same space. What do you think? Six, 30 seconds. I think, um, it definitely, how do you meet? You, you just focus on what God has called you to do. Amen, Swiss. Amen. Amen, Sfi. Amen. Amen, Sfi. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Focus on what you need to do and Focus. you know what? The Lord will bring what, what is necessary for you to complete his mission here on earth. Really, God is good and he wants to lead us to the best path for our lives. He wants you to be with the best person for you. He wants you to meet the best man, the best guy for Amen. you. So don't Amen. rush. There's no need to rush. There's no need to compare yourself to somebody else. Wait on the Lord. He's, good. He's got this. Amen. Amen. Vault Nation. We're going to close with this. Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom, the of, kingdom God. of God and, and his, his righteousness, righteousness and all, all these dating things. relationships and all these new soulmates <laughs> and whatever shall be added unto you. Amen. Amen. Peace out. Let's move on. We've got something awesome for you coming right up. Check out this clip. We got that new hip hop track in the house, yes sir, right? We got a, we got Bob P and we got Amu <laughs> with us. Man, it's our first hip hop track as the vault. We excited, get excited. If you're ready to dance, get ready to dance. Hear the lyrics, hear the beats. It's about to go in, right? And we turning this song into this week's new challenge, right? So on TikTok, Hashtag the vote dance battle. You're gonna hear this track. Post your best moves to our new track. We're gonna repost and repost. You're gonna see yourself. We see you. You see us. Anyways, right and the next challenge for anyone who wants to enter. If you're a rapper, uh, uh, yeah. If you're a rapper, right. We gonna uh, put a link in our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter bio. You can go click on the link, download the song. We have left the second verse open so you can get the song you can uh, record yourself rapping to it post it on instagram facebook wherever hashtag the vault rap battle hashtag the vault rap battle and whoever listen whoever spits the hardest bars the deepest bars the cleanest bars the holiest bars we're gonna decide and put you on the track so you can download it, post, hashtag the vault rap battle, rapping to our beats. And if your, bat, if your beat slaps us, your beat slaps us, then we will put you on our official song, which is this song that we're going to release. So you might be that lucky person. Enter, hashtag the vault rap battle, hashtag the vault dance battle. Let's get right into it. Wait, just before we do that. Bob P just wrote his lyrics, so take it easy on him. Comments, please. Let's get right into it. Yes, sir. On the vault. Yeah. On the challenge, yeah. guys. Let's go. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. 
Let's go. On the phone. TV. Mine online. Love. On my phone. On my phone. It's a lightning bolt. TV. On the vote. Yeah. On the vote. On the vote. Yeah. On the vote. If it wasn't for God, got me inside, swallow my pride Get if you don't understand, not a plan, but a man, but a God Higher than anything that can smoke or sniff up a nose Proms on proms on proms, what do I do if I got him? Pray, success, God is the best Best of intentions inside of my life Loving the mess, I was a mess and all Phone hit ring and I picked up the call Walking in purpose, Jesus for all Catch anybody when you hit a fall Caught me when I missed I can be a stranger inside of my land What's your name? Godly man Stand anybody with a simple plan Follow Jesus, that's the plan That's the plan, man Hustle, hustle, what? Follow Jesus, that's the plan I don't wanna freak you out You heard they something, cover your mouth I bet you not see anybody in the jungle Walking in the streets, don't mind it's your count Have no worries, flossy clean Jesus kid like what's your feet? On my purpose, on my sin On the net, I get my cheese On the phone, TV Mind on line, On my phone It's a lot new ball TV, on the vault Yeah, on the vault Yeah, on the vault Yeah, on the vault Mind on line, line, line On my phone It's a lightning bolt On the vault Yeah, on the vault Yeah, on the vault Yeah, on the vault Yeah, on the vault. yeah. So I turn Queen B to the left, right turn Keep the word on my side, call it burn Don't talk, just listen, might learn Might learn something new if you're here with it Funny man, yeah, you got my real with it Got skills, got the keys to evolve with it Got her, keep it real, keep it drill with it Keep it hurt, keep it drill with it What else do I know what to say? You running your mouth? Or you running this race? We talk about God Not playing it safe Death has died He took your place Hold up, we lost our minds, mind online. this ain't no game, on the phone, we cross the line, it's a lightning bolt, we here to stay, on the road, we lost our yeah. minds, on the road, this ain't no yeah. game, on the road, we cross the yeah. line, on the road, we here to stay, yeah. on the road, TV, mind online, on, line. 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 on my phone, phone. it's, it's a lightning bolt, TV, on, on the road, yeah, on the road, yeah, on the road, On the vault. On the vault. Yeah, guys. Get on the challenge, guys. Get on the challenge. On the vault. On the vault. That's, That's it. Thank you. On the vault. Thank you. Greetings, um, this is day 12 of the project. Um, this is Sunday and um, I have been so moved by what I've seen here. Uh, we had uh, three days of good feeding. We had one day where we had a little bit of disturbance in the morning, um, but today once again, to just to see how the community has banded together. Um, I'm so excited to see the heart and the passion and, and what has been accomplished for this community. I'm very happy Sabula Kulias in Nete Kakun, Mova Bell, Bingana Luto. 
I want to say thank you to everybody that came together to make this happen. Thank you for your hearts. Thank you for your compassion. Thank you for your stickability, for loving this, com this community. What's so incredible is to see so many people working together for the same good, and that is to look after a community that needs help, a community that's hungry, but now they are getting food. Thank you so much. City Foundation COVID-19 Relief Fund. The future beams with hope. With the coronavirus infection rates on the rise in South Africa and around the world, we as a foundation have determined to assist impoverished communities without necessities. Partner with us in this worthy effort and spread the light of God during these dark days. Visit www.mashaseri.org and donate towards the purchase of necessities for these less fortunate in our communities. That's www.mashaseri.org. Mashaseri Foundation COVID-19 Relief Fund. The future beams with hope. So grateful for our volunteers who are doing this every single day, who are faithful in this. It is really such a beautiful example of what giving is. Right, and we just want to come now and do the tithes and offering. And I want to speak from the book of Mark, chapter 12. And it speaks about the parable of the widow who came to give her tithes and offering. And there we see Jesus gathers his disciples and they are surrounding the offering basket and they are seeing what the people are giving. And Jesus notices something that really shook me. And there he is. He sees the widow give in um, the two coins that she has into the basket. And he tells the disciples, look at this. And in verse 43, he says there, I tell you the truth that this poor widow surely gave more of a larger offering to than the wealthy people. And this really, you know, blew my mind because how can two coins be more than a thousand? You know, how can such a little offering, you know, mean more than giving a lot more? And when Jesus explains, he explains that the wealthy people were able to give from the surplus of what they have. And the widow gave everything that she had to show her faithfulness, to show her commitment to the word of God. And that's what I want us to focus there. When we give our tithes and offering, that we prepare our best, that we give everything that we have to be committed, to be faithful to what the word of God says. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Hold your tithes and offering in your hand, or not in your hand. You're going to be doing it via EFT. Um, and just close your eyes where you are. Father God, we come to you today with our best offering in worship to you. It pleases us to give to you tonight, Father God. We thank you that you are forever faithful to your word and that we shall never lack anything or want anything because you are Jehovah Jireh, our provider. I pray God's richest blessing over every single person streaming here tonight. Amen. Are you ready to give? Log on to my3c.tv for cashless donations. Made safe, made simple, made smart. Choose your donation option. Enter your amount and press pay now. Choose one of our easy and convenient payment methods and you're good to go. You can give via credit or check card, instant EFT or the MasterPass option. My3c.tv 
cashless donations. Made safe, made simple, made smart. Fix your eyes on the screen for the QR code. Our 3C app is now available. Download Community Character Courage on your app store. This app is just for you. Get all the latest articles, sermons, and audio or video formats, as well as connecting with us live. This app is just for you. That is Community Character Courage, so you can take the gospel with you everywhere. 3C Live presents its fourth album, Good To Me, with songs like Perfect Love, First, Great Exchange, Three C Live's fourth release, "Good to Me," available on all digital platforms, including iTunes and Google Play Music. Life is a journey. Everyone takes one small step to go to the next level. The journey is filled with moments of joy and others filled with pain. Sometimes we can get lost along the way. Life is not how many steps we take. It is the steps we take in the right direction today. Decide to walk on the right path again. Life class is your opportunity to learn to walk with Jesus and fulfill his purpose for your life. This and much more is Life Class. Every Monday at 7 p.m. with Pastors Bert and Shane Pretorius. Destiny Training is a program focused on shaping leaders by equipping them with the skills and tools necessary to fulfill God's purpose for their lives. Through years of experience and constant pursuit of excellence, we have been able to craft an accessible, effective learning process. With solid biblical foundations, Destiny Training prepares leaders to assume the responsibility of impacting not only their own homes, but every home in every community. Join us on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. with Pastors Bert and Sean A. Pretorius for Destiny Training. Every believer, a leader of leaders. Amen. We're about to get into some worship today and there's nothing better than inviting the presence of God into the place where you're at and I want you to just stand up on your feet right there where you are. We're just going to worship God. Uh, we know that it prepares our hearts when we invite the presence of God into this place. So just let go of everything, let go of your distractions and just connect to God. Even if you don't know the lyrics and you're new, just speak to God with your own words and we're about to sing some praises unto the Lord. Freely you gave your life, you sent me free by your blood, grace that is more than enough, more than enough, and here I stand, I am redeemed by
Let's worship God right there where you are. He waited for you. Just lift up his name. There is none like you, Father. We adore you, Lord. You waited for us no matter what. You are bigger than our circumstances. You are bigger than everything that we face today, Lord. Just worship God with your own words right there. I want us just to tune into the presence of God. I want you to just begin to worship the Lord right there where you are. Lift up your voices to Him. He is so good. He is so gracious, so loving and so kind. We love you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. And the Bible teaches us in Romans 8, verse 31, it says, If God is for us, then who can be against us and it's so amazing that it goes on to say that if he gave up his only son for us how much will he not give us everything and we have to understand that i don't know what you're facing i don't know if your finances are against you if your health is against you if your academics are against you if just things are just not working out but there is one thing that is an assurance God is for you. That whatever you find yourself in, whatever situation your family might be in, no matter what is going on at home, nothing can change the fact that God is for us. And it goes on in verse 38. He says, I am assured of this one thing, that nothing can separate us from the love of God. That is the assurance that we have today as His children. That no matter what you're facing, it says not even death can separate us from His love. Nothing can pull us away from the love of God. Not even your circumstance that you're facing. That cannot separate us from the love of God. And with this assurance, knowing that our loving Father cares and loves us, I want us to put our faith together. And we're going to pray. And we're going to stand and we're going to trust God for our situation. Whatever you're facing, whether it's finances, whether it's in your health, in your family, maybe in this time of lockdown, there's just been so much unrest in your home. Today, we're going to trust God and knowing that He is for us and that He has never left us. And maybe you've made some mistakes along the way. Understand today that nothing can separate you from the love of God. Come on, Vault Nation, won't we just begin to pray? Father, we thank you that we can come before you today knowing that you have given us everything when you gave us Jesus Christ on the cross. And we know that through your blood, Jesus, we have the victory over every single trial today. Lord, we come humbly before you, trusting you for breakthrough within each and every life, Lord. Whether it be financial, we trust you, Lord, and we know that your word says that if we seek first the kingdom of God, all these things will be added onto us that we don't have to worry about tomorrow, Lord, for you are right there with us, Lord. We thank you that you are Jehovah Roi, our shepherd, the one who leads us and guides us, Lord, the one who takes care of us. And we know that even though we go through the valley of shadow of death, we will fear no evil, for you are right there with us. You promised us that you will never leave nor forsake us, Lord. And we stand on this very promise that surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that nothing can separate us from your love. Not death, not turmoil, Lord, not, not famine. Nothing can separate us from your love. That no matter what we're going through, we know that you are right there with us, Lord. That you are Jehovah Shammah. That when you gave us Jesus, you promised us that you are Emmanuel. You are God with us. In every circumstance, in every situation, you are right there. And we give you all the glory and all the praise. And we thank you that we know that it is done. Nothing is too difficult to you for you and nothing is impossible. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah.
never stop working You never stop, you never stop working Even when I don't see it, you're working Even when I don't feel it, you're working You never stop, you never stop working You never stop, you never stop working Way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper Whatever we have trusted in, today we know that it has come to pass. Thank you, Lord, that every power of the devil is broken in Jesus' name. And whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Amen and amen. Won't you give God a big shout of praise right there where you are? He has done it for you. He has made a way where there seems to be no way. You can take your seats right there where you are. And we're so excited that the presence of God is right here with us. And we know that in your home, wherever you might be tuned in from, at this Vault Live experience, that God is right there with you. We're going to get into the Word of God. And the title of my message is called The Secret. And I want to encourage you. If you are on Twitter, make sure that you are tweeting using that hashtag, hashtag the vault live. If you are on the Facebook feed, make sure that you are commenting and that you also share that specific page. And if you are on the YouTube page, that you comment, comment, comment as well. And I wonder if you can turn with me in the, into the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 9. And we're also so grateful for our pastors, Pastor Bert and Pastor Shane, that allow us to be able to have the Vault Live experience. And we love you, Pastor. We love you and your family, and we're praying for you continuously. And the Bible teaches us a couple of things here as we're going to understand what the secret really is. Did you know that it's day number 50 of the lockdown here in South Africa. We've reached half a century not out. So uh, we trust and we pray that God will do a supernatural work within our nation. Let's read. It says, for we are God's fellow workers. It says, you are God's field and you are God's building. How many of you would like to be on the same team as God. Let me see your hand. Put your hand up on the comments tab on any of the social media platforms that you are in. If you want to be in the same team as God, meaning God is with you, put up your hand there. And it reminds me of uh, my earlier days in primary school where we used to play soccer. And I used to go to a school called Glen Stancher Primary School. And man, we used to play against some tough teams. And the toughest team that we'd play against and the team that I dreaded playing against was Sunnyside Primary School. Now, some of you might come from that primary school and you know that these primary schools and whatever rival uh, primary school you were at, that sports is a big thing. And the one reason why I didn't want to play against Sunnyside Primary School, because at that time, they had one of the best goalkeepers in the country that we had to play against. And how many of you know that when you're playing against tough opposition, it's not good? Then came districts where we played Northerns and we were selected and we were on the same team. Let me tell you, when that goalkeeper was on my same side and we were working towards the same goal, there was a relief, there was a confidence about me. I knew that we were not going to lose as many games because the biggest opposition was now on the same side as me. And I want you to picture this. When God says that you 
you and I are fellow workers. He's saying, I don't want you to be my slave. I don't want you to be my subject. I want you to be on the same side as me. And you know that God doesn't lose. God never loses. He has not started losing. And even into this day, he will never lose. So God being on your team means that you have an assignment. You have a purpose. God has an important mission for you. He has a role to play in the team. But he's saying, I don't want you to be a slave to me. I want you to be right alongside me as we work, as we do this. We're not just playing games, but God has an assignment that none perish, but all are called to everlasting life. And many people have partnered up with God and been on the same side as him. And this is why the Bible teaches us in the book of Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 1 to 2. It says there, Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that easily ensnares us. It says that we have a witness. There's a cloud of witnesses. I picture heaven having all of the great armies of generals standing and they are watching us, you and me, who are still on planet earth right now and are rooting us on. They are cheering for us. Abraham is up there cheering for you and me to continue the work that God has called us to do. I imagine um, um, David who slayed Goliath. Even though he was a, a small shepherd boy, he was able to defeat Goliath. But one thing you need to know about this life here on earth is that when we die and that day, we don't know. I don't know when, when my day comes. You don't know what, when, when your day comes. But when it does come and you are God willingly with Jesus in heaven, you can do nothing for the people here on earth which means we've got this time here on earth to become effective. Even though David slayed Goliath, he cannot save your neighbor. He cannot help you to transform your nation. Even though Noah saved the entire world by putting them on a boat and obeying God, he cannot save your school. Only you can. You, with the help and the working together of God, can transform this nation. Moses, even though he parted the Red Sea and he, he, he specifically led God's people out of slavery, he cannot shape or change this nation of South Africa and whatever nation you are tuned in with. So we, need, we have a responsibility. We have an integral role to play here as children of God to make sure that we continue this work with God. And God does not make us work by ourselves. He's given us weapons. Now, I wonder if, if, if Joshua knew about the blood of Jesus and he knew about the confessions that we are learning, how much more would he do a, 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 a supernatural work within this world? We've got all the weapons freely available to us, and we need to use them to make a difference. The whole heaven of heaven is cheering you on. So you might ask yourself, so how do we get there? How do we get to that place where we are also world changers, history makers, planet shakers here on earth, making a difference and changing up the planet? Well, here is the secret. If you want to know what the secret is, the secret is simple. The secret is the secret place. Making sure that we dwell in that area where the presence of God is. The Bible teaches us in Psalm 91, it says, He who dwells, meaning you live, meaning you want to be in that place, the secret place of the Most High, the Bible says, shall abide under the shadow of of the Almighty. Your daily devotion, your quiet time with God is one of the most important things of your entire existence. Making sure that we have a relationship with God on a daily basis where God is able to pour into your life, where, where even during this lockdown, maybe you might have fallen into temptation, you might have made mistakes, things might have shaken you up, but the one solid foundation that will keep you going that will keep you running this race with endurance and affecting nations is the secret place 
He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So I love the scripture that we read earlier, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9. It says that we work with God, but then it also says that we are the field of God. So even though God has given you an assignment, you who are listening to the sound of the word of God today, you are God's assignment. You are God's personal project. God is not finished with you yet. God is still moving and working within your life. And when we come and we honor the secret place, we give God the right to change us. Out of ourselves, we cannot change. Out of ourselves, it is impossible to change. But when we dwell in the secret place of God, He changes us. We need God to work on us on a daily basis basis but he is not going to fetch you you need to want it you need to be hungry you need to yearn for it david says as a deer pants for water so my soul longs for god how desperate are you for the presence of god it needs to be honored within our lives we cannot expect the god who created the heavens and the earth and the seas still to run after us to come and be in his presence It needs to be something that we do willingly, something that we do with an open heart, something that we do because we want to. And the thing is, if we aren't abiding in the vine, if we aren't with God on a daily basis, our work will not bear the fruit that God wants us to bear. A simple example, I used to work in a clothing store. And we used to work in a, as a team. There was about 12 of us in that team. And every single morning, we had different types of people. We had a manager. We had people that were working the floor. We had the people behind the scenes. But every morning, all of us would come together and we would have a meeting where the manager, the head, would be able to speak to us and give us direction of where to go. Tell us the targets of what we need to reach. Give us the focus for that specific day. And there would often come times where some people would be late. They wouldn't come to the specific meeting. And even though they'd still work, because they didn't hear the original message in the morning, their work was not as productive as those who heard the word which tells us something, that you can be busy doing the things of God, but if you're not spending time with Him on a daily basis, that work will not be productive. God needs to tell us, even though you're going out and you're going to go phone people, He needs to tell you who to call. Even if you're going out and you're going to go preach the gospel, God needs to show you the where. Doing the work of God without God Himself is religion itself. And we do not need religion. We need relationship. We need to move and work and do what God has called us to do, working with Him because of the conviction and the passion that God has put within us because we dwell in the secret place. It's impossible. It is possible to be busy, but also to be far away from God. And I want to close with this because the Bible teaches us how to get back. And I sense in my spirit that there's a lot of young people that during this lockdown, you've kind of lost your way. You're still doing the religious things. You're still doing the religious chores, but maybe you've moved away from God. And the Bible teaches us in Revelations chapter 2 and verse 2, it says, I know all the things you do. This is Jesus speaking to us, Jesus speaking to me in the New Living Translation. It says, I've seen your hard work. I've seen that you've patiently endured. I know that you don't tolerate evil people. You have examined the claims of those who say that the apostles are of not. You have discovered that they are liars. You have patiently suffered for me without quitting. You're still in this race. But he says, I have this complaint against you. You don't love me or each other as you did first. Another translation says you have forsaken your first love. Let's not be like the Martha who was so busy, busy serving Jesus that she forgot about what's more important. Let's not be like the, like the, the, the older brother in Luke chapter 15 of the prodigal son 
who was working, 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 and thought that God owed him something because of the amount of work that he put in. You see, when you think or when we think that God owes us something because of what we've done, it's the first sign to see that our hearts are not in the right place, that we haven't been spending time with God. Because after you spend time in the secret place, everything that you do for God becomes a grace. It becomes a joy. It becomes a privilege to do the things that God has called us to do simply because he's ignited that flame within us. And I want to pray with you. If you are finding yourself in that area, you don't need to be condemned. This is not a message of condemnation. When the Lord spoke to me about this, it shook me, but he still said to me, I love you. And if you repent, if you confess your sins before the Lord, the Bible says that he is faithful. He is just to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you of all unrighteousness. The mere fact that you are still alive means that God is not done with you. His purpose for your life is not done with you. But we cannot do the work of God without the passion, the love of God burning within us. We need to wake up yearning, wanting the presence of God, yearning, wanting to spend time with Jesus and as we leave our places of isolation our cup will run over it will run over into other people's lives the joy will run over into other people's lives the passion will run over into other people's lives the faith will run over into your communities it will run over into your family it will run over into your school it will run over into this nation that is crying out for the presence of God if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, will pray, will turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. Won't you close your eyes right there where you are and let's pray. Father, you see every single heart today. You know the work that we do. But Lord, where there's been hearts that have gone cold, where there's been hearts that have gone religious and moved away from you, today we choose to repent. Thank you for the privilege of working with you, Lord. But Father, we have lost our ways. And I pray that right now through the power of the blood of Jesus, that you would break every chain of guilt, you'd break every chain of condemnation upon your children's life today. And Lord, that you would set us free. We want to be found in the secret place. We repent of being religious. We repent of doing or thinking that we can do life apart from you. Lord, here we are as your children. We pray that you would change us from the inside out. And right there we are, just say these words after me. Say, Father, today I apply the blood of Jesus that was shed from his hands my work will be productive today you change my heart this heart of stone make it a heart of flesh help me to love you with everything that is within me I commit today to being found in the secret place in Jesus name Amen and amen. God bless you. Wonderful message that we just heard from Zintle. What an amazing word. And I know that it's impacted your life. I know that it's touched you. How important it is for us to come back to God, to come back to His presence, not to play church games, not to play uh, life as, it, uh, as if it was a game. Because life is not a game, young person, whoever's watching from, wherever you're watching from, understand tonight that we can have fun, we have awesome songs, we have uh, dancing, we, we can have a lot of fun tonight. But at the end of the day, the real question is, have you taken stock of your life this evening? Have you looked at yourself and asked yourself, am I on the right path? Am I on the right road? Am I heading in the right place? And maybe you find yourself in a place where you are frustrated. You are frustrated with your life, frustrated with the, the sin in your life. You're frustrated with, with 
bondages and depression or emotional strongholds, whatever it may be. I'm here to tell you tonight that Jesus already told us in John 14 verse 6, He says, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. You don't need to look around anymore. You don't need to come up with your own plans anymore. You don't need to live in frustration. You don't need to try and change yourself anymore. You don't need to try and get a better life for yourself anymore. Jesus says, just come to me. Just come to me and I'm going to change you. Just come to me, believe that I paid the price, that I was innocent, but I paid the price so that those who are guilty can become innocent. So tonight, I want to ask this question to you as you've heard the word, as you've been with us this evening. Is your life right with God? Are you living in freedom? Are you living in peace and joy and love? Or is there something inside of you tonight that says, I need to change something. I need to come back to God. I need to come back to Jesus. I need to repent. I can't live like this anymore. Let me tell you, my friend, we've seen it in history over centuries of people living that we don't have the answers, that we can't change ourselves. But when you come to Christ, when you come to God and you say, God, I believe, I believe in you. I believe in your word. I'm going to follow you. That's when a true miracle happens. Tonight, we're not here talking about a theory. We're not here talking about some good idea or we're not asking you to try be a good person or to make sure you go to church every week because even that doesn't save you. There are people that go to church week after week and nothing changes. We're asking you tonight to come to Jesus, to invite Him in your life. You don't need to be here God is not just here in this place. He's right there with you right now. Whether you feel Him or not, He's right there. He knew you'd be watching. And He knows that tonight He's knocking on the door of your heart. And He's saying, let me in. I'm tired of watching you struggle. I'm tired of watching you live on the road to destruction. I've got so much more in store for you. And so if that is you, I want to pray with you. If you say tonight, I want to become a child of God. I want to come back to Jesus. I don't want to live like this anymore. I don't want to live like the world anymore. I don't want to live like uh, what society says I should live like. I don't want to be like that. I need a true change. I need a heart change. I need the forgiveness and the freedom that is in Jesus Christ. So if that is you, I'm going to pray a prayer. And I want you to pray this with me. Maybe you used to serve God, but you fell away. You've backslidden. You need to come back tonight. Don't waste another moment. Don't don't be arrogant thinking, well, maybe another time. With so many people dying around the world with this virus, it's not a time to play around. It's a time to look at yourself and say, you know what? Maybe I can come out a different person when this lockdown is over. And the only person who can bring an eternal change, not a temporary change, an eternal change and set you free from the power of sin, the power of darkness is Jesus Christ. So if that is you, I want you to close your eyes and you're going to repeat this after me with all that you have in your heart. You're going to say this with me. And right now, a miracle is going to take place in your life where God is going to step in and he's going to change everything. And maybe you're in a room with more than one person. I'm going to ask everyone to pray this prayer. All of us are going to say this so that no one feels embarrassed. And I want you to say this with me, with all the faith that you have. Come on, say with me, Jesus, here I am. I come to you tonight. I need you in my life. Thank you that you know me. You know everything about me. You know all the mistakes I've made. You know all the messes I've made. You know what is broken in me. You've seen the hurt. You've seen the pain. You know all the frustration and the emptiness. And still, you love me. But tonight, I ask you, Jesus, 
to come into my life. Come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. And change me. Change everything about me. Because today I decide to leave my old life behind. And I choose to put my faith in you. I choose to trust you. I choose to give my life to you. I'm coming back home. Thank you, Jesus, that you forgive me from all my sin. You restore my heart and take away all the pain. You break every stronghold and every curse. You set me free. Every addiction is broken in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, that my life will never be the same again. Give me a pure heart. Pour your Spirit upon me. Today, Jesus, I say, I surrender to you. I've been doing it my own way. I've been going my own path. But today, I decide to follow you. Thank you that you do the miracle in my life. The old me is dead. And from this moment, I can say, I am a child of God. I am born again. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Wow, we're so proud of you. If you prayed that prayer, I want you to know it's not a small thing. It's not an insignificant thing. It's not a hit and hope moment where you hope something happens. No. The Lord has placed His Spirit within you. You will never be the same again. But now you have to make sure you keep strong in your faith. The enemy is going to try his best to bring you down, to bring you back. But every day I want to encourage you, as Zintle shared this evening, get into the presence of God, get into the Word of God. And in fact, we have some things that can help you. We have life class every Monday night at 7 p.m. to help you to get stronger in your walk with the Lord. Now on the comment section, you'll see there's a link on YouTube, on Facebook, wherever you're watching, there's a link that you can click on. I want you to go there. If you made this decision tonight, go to that link, fill in your details because we want to connect with you and we want to uh, uh, share with you some of the materials we have that's going to encourage you, that's going to help you to get stronger and stronger in your faith and so that you can unlock everything that God has prepared for you. Wow, we're so proud of you. And uh, we know you're just going to see the hand of God in your life. Now, we're getting ready. We're going to get to our after party with our DJ here at the vault, the Josh. We're going to have some fun. We're going to dance. We're going to praise the Lord because no matter what's going on around us, He is never going to leave us nor forsake us. So we're going to have some fun. Stay tuned. Let's, let's get up. Let's get some space and let's get dancing and singing in the presence of God. Are you ready? All right, let's go.
that guy nah. this is your group project everyone's doing the work and then there's me but we all get an a hallelujah <laughs> right so that was an awesome service hope you like the song hope you enjoyed the dj said let's give it up for the josh essay yes if you missed it he is wearing himself on his hoodie that's so cool anyways so <laughs> download the song the link in our instagram twitter Facebook, you can download the song, spit your verse, hashtag the vote rap battle, hashtag the vote dance battle. We'll see you again next week. Yes, sir. <laughs>